Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. Today we are just doing a laid back chatty repot with me. I'm so excited to just hang out and pot some plants up. I haven't done a video like this in quite a while. I used to do repot with me all the time, but since I've been purchasing less plants or haven't really been purchasing any plants, um, I have had less repotting to do, which is kind of nice because it feels really special and just more enjoyable when I have repotting to do now. So yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm going to be giving it just a little life kind of update and I don't really have a, a, a structured plan. So we are just going to talk about whatever, whatever flows. So I hope that is cool with you guys. I will introduce the plants that we are going to be repotting today. Um, okay, so the ones that I'm probably the most excited to pot up are my Anthurium seedlings. I have several um, to pot up actually. So let's, let's talk about these ones first. So this is my Anthurium seedling that was sent to me from Charmaine on Planned Parenthood, which was so nice. And I'm so excited about this. Okay, first of all, it's the cutest thing ever. Look, it has a tiny little new leaf coming in. Like it is so stinking cute. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. This is a dark forgetty eye and crystal mag hybrid. So yeah, I can't wait to see this grow. The last leaf that it gave me came out kind of funky. So um, I'm glad that this newest one is looking pretty good. I'm definitely not an Ethereum whisperer by any means. So I'm doing my best, but I'm excited to get this into a chunky potting mix today. It's very cute and I'm just excited to watch it grow. I love watching small plants grow into big plants. It's just so satisfying. Um, speaking of, the other seedlings that I have to pot up are actually the ones that I grew from um, seed. I ordered a couple of anthurium berries in the fall and um, yeah, this is what we are working with now. These are I always forget what these are because I'm I'm just not an Ethereum person. I think that they're Magnificum crossed with uh, Dark Mama. I'm pretty sure that that's what they are. And I don't know what either of those plants look like. So this is just, you know, it's a surprise for me. But so far, so far they look really cute. And I'm just excited to see like what the roots are looking, I can see them along the bottom. So it'll be fun to take them out of this sphagnum moss. And then after that, we are going to be combining my philodendron tortum. I talked about this in one of my videos recently, but I've been wanting to combine these guys just because I want just one larger, fuller plant. Um, I was originally gonna sell this one. Looks like it's gonna be working on a new leaf soon. I was originally gonna sell this one and then the thrips happened and everything and I just wasn't comfortable um, selling my plants. I don't think that either of these plants have thrips anymore so I am going to be going ahead and combining them and obviously there's my bigger, my big mama that lives in my IKEA greenhouse um, and then there's a smaller one that's just been growing in my bedroom. Honestly this one has been doing really well just in my bedroom so um, yeah it's looking great and I'll probably just add them both into this terracotta pot. We'll see if it works. And then lastly, I am going to be combining my ZZ Ravens. So I've had this one stock of ZZ Raven for quite some time now, like years, um, <laughs> and doesn't really grow for me. But I also have this baby ZZ Raven that I got as a bonus when I bought a plant um, from somebody like just over a year ago. And um, yeah, it's just a little tiny baby. So I am going to be adding it into this pot to hopefully, you know, get a somewhat full ZZ plant, ZZ Raven plant one day. I'm curious to see what what the situation is looking like in here too. So we will discover that together. Espero que mires estas plantas conmigo. And I hope you will not judge my Spanish pronunciation too harshly. It is a work in progress and I am working on it with the Babbel app, which is today's sponsor. Okay, so I've always wanted to learn another language, but just never really knew where to start. I mostly wanted to just to challenge myself as like a brain exercise, but also it would be super freaking cool just to be able to speak another language. I chose Spanish because I feel like most of the places I would want to travel to in the future are Spanish speaking. 
and I just think that it's a really beautiful language. As a Canadian, I never see or hear Spanish around me, like I'm never exposed to it here, so um, it's definitely been a learning curve, but Babbel has made it really fun and interesting and approachable. When you sign up for Babbel, you can choose just a subscription to the app where you will get access to lessons, games, podcasts, and videos. Um, or you can choose Babbel Live, which gives you access to everything on the app, plus live classes, which are taught by some really awesome language teachers. The fastest way to learn a language is obviously to actually speak it. So I love that Babbel Live offers a comfortable, um, safe and flexible way to learn from your own home. So you can practice conversing with other people while getting live feedback from the teachers who are awesome by the way. They're highly qualified, smart, professional and super patient with beginners, which is excellent. <laughs> Each class has only six people too, so you're sure to get the attention that you need. The classes are super flexible too, you can just choose whatever time slot suits your schedule. Also way cheaper than going to live classes outside your home and less stressful. And they also offer a 20 day money back guarantee. I prefer Babbel Live just because I think it's a faster and more efficient way to actually start speaking a new language. It's a bigger investment, but it does pay off. But the app is also a fantastic place to start, especially if you just want to learn at your own pace. I feel like this is a great resource to know about right now, especially as travel is now opening back up. You might have a few destinations planned and you want to brush up or learn a new language. So for a limited time, you can get exclusive discounts for both the Babbel app and Babbel Live. Just click on the link down in the description box to get 40% off of your subscription. Thank you so much to Babbel for sponsoring this video. Now let's get into our repotting. Okay, I'm just going to adjust the camera angle so that we can see the plants. Okay, so I'm going to start with the um, Anthurium seedlings. I'm gonna do this one first, the Dark Forgettii and Crystal Mag. I'm probably just going to repot it. Whoa, the roots look so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, you can see through the container. I don't know how well you can see on camera, but oh man, I'm so excited to take this out and have a look. I was just going to say that I think I'm just going to repot it back into this little um, pot. Oh my gosh. They look so satisfying. Look at those. Oh my gosh, I love that. It's so cute. Okay. Wow. Looks even better than I thought it was gonna look. Okay, I'm just gonna gently remove some of this sphagnum. Maybe I'm gonna take a picture of this. It looks so good. So my plants from Charmaine have been doing phenomenal. Um, she sent me a Ripsalis Paradoxa Minor that I, I think the last repot with me I did actually, I repotted that um, as well as my other Ripsalis. So I'll link that video if you haven't seen it yet. But um, she sent me that. It's doing amazing. She also sent me begonia gray feather, which is literally like one of my favorite plants right now. It's so incredible. Um, mine is growing so well and it's just so beautiful. I love it so much and it's it's seeming to be like a really hardy begonia. So I'm just so happy about that. It's giving me like the same vibes as my begonia maculata, which was so easy to care for. Um, so yeah, it's doing really well. I'll have to like give you guys an update on that one soon. Um, and then I have also from Charmaine a uh, wet stick of Dark Lord and um, Philodendron Majestic and they are both doing really well in the prop box. The Dark Lord has a leaf now, maybe two leaves now, and it did root. Um, and the Majestic, I'm going to have to check on it. I haven't looked in a few days, but um, it was putting out a leaf. So I wonder if that's out yet. So I'm really glad that those are doing well because it was just so nice of her to send me these plants. Especially this little Anthurium seedling. It's so stinking cute. I feel like I'm warming up to Anthurium a little bit, you guys. Um, I know I've, I've really like knocked on Anthurium a lot in the past, but I'm kind of into them now. <laughs> I change my mind so often. I'm a Gemini, okay? So 
that's my excuse for that. But yeah, I don't know. I've kind of been digging Anthurium. I really want the Pilata Pilata Florum. Why can I never say that one? You guys know what I'm talking about, the strappy one. Um, my Viterifolium has been doing really well. Um, so that's good. But yeah, I really want that one. And there's a couple other ones actually that I've been liking recently as well. I don't think I'm gonna go out and like add any to my collection right away, but I'm definitely like warming up to them and admiring them in photos more and stuff like that. So yeah, definitely excited about my seedlings here because I feel like I'm ready to just like have a couple more Anthurium in my collection because I only have two other than these seedlings. So it'll be nice to watch these grow and um, you guys can watch them grow as well. So that will be fun. So while I am removing this sphagnum, um, I wanted to just like chat, like give kind of an update about how I'm doing after my move and like how I'm enjoying this space and just how everything's going because y'all were really with me on a journey there. My moving three times in one year, that was very intense. And I literally, I still feel like I'm like just kind of getting to the point where I can relax a little bit after that. Like, I don't think I fully um, absorbed in the moment. Like when you're going through it, you just kind of have to like tough it out and just like push through. But I don't think I fully recognized or absorbed like how intense that is to be like uprooting your life that, <laughs> that often in such a short time span. Um, so yeah, I'm just like, I am doing really well and I'm so thankful that this place is working out for me. I... I'm loving living here. Um, first of all, the thing that I love the most is how quiet it is. It is like dead quiet. Like at night, you guys, I never, it's literally like dead quiet. I don't hear anything. Um, I've said this before that I don't share walls with anybody and um, people were kind of confused by that. But um, yeah, this, this isn't like an apartment with neighbors on each side or above or anything. Like I, I'm not sharing any walls with anybody. Um, so yeah, I am very close to other houses, so there's noises outside and stuff during the day, which I'm completely fine with, but yeah, uh, noise wise, I'm just so thankful. Like this, this is really just like what I needed. Um, so that's been going amazing in that perspective. Honestly, in like pretty much all perspectives, this place has been working out for me. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it's tiny, very small. I do feel a little bit cramped, um, but it's totally doable. It's totally manageable. And I'm definitely like willing to deal with living in a smaller space. Okay, I'm gonna show you what the roots are looking like on this guy. I hope this repotting isn't gonna disturb that new leaf too much. I don't think it will. I was very gentle. I don't even think I lost any roots. I love when plants have like thicker roots like this. Like this is a young plant, but even still it has like thick, robust roots. I really love that about Anthurium. Okay, so I am just going to put him, maybe I'll give this a rinse first because it is kind of algae -y. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some potting mix here. I have it beside me. It's just my chunky mix that I always use. I'll just put a little bit in. Boop, boop. Oh, it might be too much. We'll see. Uh, oh, that's pretty good, actually. Okay, let's fill her up. the leaves off afterwards. Okay. Gotta stand up, this is serious business here.
Okay, I think that's pretty good. He's a little crooked in the pot, but I think it'll be fine once he figures himself out a little bit more. That is what he looks like, so cute. Of course, I will be watering him afterwards, but yeah, looks really great. I should take off this um, tag at some point, but I'll worry about that after. Um, okay, so I'm gonna have to take all the sphagnum off of these little guys. This will be interesting. Um, okay, I'm just gonna, oh, this one has a new leaf coming in too. <gasps> so cute, that one. Um, can you see? I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I'll show you them after I get them out of here. I'm just gonna remove this whole thing. Oh, oh no, that's... Okay, so I can see, wow, it looks like the roots are actually like pretty substantial. I can see them along here and right there. It's so cool. So I have three. One of them is quite tiny in here, but I have two that are like pretty, pretty big. Um, so I'm just going to gently remove them from the moss. Um, so I was saying that, uh, yeah, it's quiet here. Um, it is very small. Um, but I do have south facing windows, which was like something that I really, really was hoping for. The point that I was at when I was looking for a place to live, I, I would have like taken any windows, but I really wanted south facing. So I feel really lucky that I ended up with south facing windows. When the sun comes in here, it's just, it feels so nice. So yeah, small, but honestly has everything that I wanted. I have like a very, very small outdoor space. It's just like pavement I don't, and rocks. I don't have grass or anything, but I am going to be doing some uh, containers of um, like herbs and veggies out there this spring. I actually really need to get on that because yeah, I just need to get organized. Um, I have like a rough list of things that I want to grow, but I need to get cracking and start like purchasing some of my garden things. But yeah, it's been great. Um, I'm really happy here. My landlords are super nice. Um, I'm like pretty close to Hillary, like a 15 minute drive. And I see her a lot, which is really nice. Um, so it's nice to have a friend, but it's also fun to like be living somewhere new. There's different trails for Olive and I to go on and just like different things to do, more like food options. And um, yeah, it's been really fun. I love moving to new places. My place is coming along pretty well also. Um, in At the end of December, I got my TV that I had been wanting for months. Um, this is the first TV I've ever purchased and I saved up until I could buy the one that I really wanted, which is the Samsung, the frame TV, which some of you guys have seen on Instagram. So it's the one that like looks like a picture when it's off or like, yeah, it looks like art when it's off. You can like choose different things to go on it. Um, so that's really cool and I'm working on a gallery wall for around the TV. Um, I just have a couple things up right now, but uh, I need to get frames because I do have more art that needs to go up. I just, I just haven't bought frames yet. Um, so yeah, that's coming along and what else? I'm hoping to get like maybe a tiny kitchen table. I have like the literally the tiniest kitchen. Well, my whole living space is very small, but it would be nice to have like a little kitchen table. So that's kind of on my list and then but the next big thing on my list that I really want to get is um uh floating shelves for where like basically behind me in my living room I have a big blank wall that I think I'm going to put some shelves and then just have some plants on there um I've been like stocking Etsy so I think I found the ones that I'm gonna get but yeah I just haven't I just haven't ordered them yet but I plan on doing that sometime in March. So that'll be a fun project. I also wanna get a mirror for my bedroom. And I think that I want to kind of like redo the canopy bed. Um, a lot of you guys are recommending doing like macrame for all the hangers rather than just like the plastic hangers. So I might do that. I kind of wanna do like, I don't know if I just wanna have like the regular color macrame, like the beige. I kind of wanna do like black or maybe like dark green or, um, like a terracotta or like some other color. So I'll probably end up making them myself, um, which maybe I'll do like an updated video to like revamp the whole canopy bed situation. And then, yeah, I want a, a round mirror for that room. So I've been kind of keeping my eye out for that as well. But yeah, those are basically like the things that I want to add. And then I'll feel like this space is like 
Oh wow, look at these roots. They're so juicy. So those are like the last things that I kind of want to do before, before I feel like this space is really like, I don't know, what I want it to be. And once it's what I want it to be, then I, I want to do like an updated or like a, a house tour or an updated plant tour or something like that. I might do an updated plant tour before I do this, but I'd like to have the shelves up before I do that because I want to like plant style those. But um, yeah, I'm sure a lot of you who are renting probably relate to like not wanting to spend a lot of money to like, I don't know, it's like a balance of you want your place to be like cute and like what you want it to be and you want it to be enjoyable and you want it to feel like home. But I also don't want to spend like thousands of dollars into all these things that I don't know might not work in a future space like I really want to buy a house and then I'll just be a lot more excited and like willing to invest in making that what I want it to be I don't know um oh shoot my battery's gonna die I know not everybody watches my vlog channel so I'll just give a little kind of mental health update and how I've been doing lately on here um, and I've been doing super well, you guys. Um, I've been a little bit stressed like the past couple days, but in general, like the last few weeks, I have been doing just, I've been feeling really good. I've been doing so much better than, than I was in the winter. Um, I've started incorporating a few things into my daily routine. And I really think that they have been making such a huge impact. And I've just kind of had like a mental shift and yeah i've just been i've been doing so well and i'm so grateful for that and i'm so grateful for you guys always being supportive and always understanding when i'm not feeling my best and just being encouraging and leaving me nice comments like i really really appreciate that um but yeah i am very grateful that i am um oh my goodness look at this guy that is crazy i cannot believe that this little seedling has that many roots Oh, that's so stinking cool. I'm gonna have to take a photo of these after I'm done getting them all out of there. Wow, I love that. Oh my gosh, this is so... I grew this, you guys, from a seed, from a berry. That's so stinking cool. What the heck? I am obsessed with this. Okay, I'm gonna set them over here. Um, What was I just saying? Oh yeah, my routines. Um. Yeah, so I started doing cold showers and um, I did that for a couple weeks and combined with breath work, which is something I'm new to, but something that has honestly been making such a huge impact for me. Um, so cold showers and breath work and then that kind of led to me committing to do yoga, which is something I've been wanting to commit to for uh, quite a while. And I just, I just didn't, I don't know why I just like wasn't in the mental space to to learn and to start that and uh, to like give the time to that but now I am so um I started doing yoga and I'm like today I think is my 17th day of yoga every day um and I I don't know if I've ever committed to like something like every day for this long so I'm really proud of myself and yeah, it's been going really well. Um, I'm already noticing that I'm more flexible and I like it because it's really challenging. I don't have a ton of experience in yoga. I've like taken, I've taken some classes in the past, but I've never really like committed myself to like getting better and learning. Um, so yeah, I like it because it's challenging and I obviously can't do like a lot of, a lot of poses. I just think it's so cool to like think that maybe one day I will and just to like work towards that. And obviously um, yoga is a lot to do with the breath and mindfulness and um, there's like a whole like mental aspect of it which really helps with mental health as well. So yeah, it's like a physical and a mental practice all in one and I've really been enjoying it. If you guys are into yoga, let me know down below because I'm curious if there's anybody else who, any, any yogis in the crowd but yeah, I've just been loving it so far. And I feel like those three things have just, um, just helped me have a little bit of a mindset shift. I've just been, I've been focusing more on gratitude and um, I've just been feeling so good moving my body more and challenging myself with the cold water. Hillary and I went swimming in the ocean the other day, which was really fun. And um, yeah, you, you really do have to like make change if you want to see change, so. 
that's where I am, that's what I'm doing, and yeah, I'm doing well. Wow, this one has a ton of roots. A ton, a ton, a ton of roots. Okay, wow, look at that. Look at that. Yes, a lot of roots on this guy. Love that, okay. I think I wanna take a picture of these. Maybe these two I'll take a picture of. I have like sphagnum stuck to my fingers. Okay, so what am I even going to do with these seedlings? I have this little container. I think I might put the smallest one in here because yeah, it's quite, quite baby. Hopefully that'll be fine. Um, yeah, let's do that. This one sprouted, like came up so much later than the other ones. I originally thought that only two of my seeds had sprouted, um, but then this one came up and I was like, oh, I was not expecting that. So it's kind of like a bonus one. Honestly, I probably should have left it in the sphagnum for longer or maybe I shouldn't have, I, I don't know. This is all experimental and I'm not too like serious about it. I mean, I think at least one out of these three is gonna live, right? So. Um, yeah, it's just, just funsies. Okay, I'm going to, oh, he's kind of crooked, but <laughs> I think he'll be fine. Look at him in there. Just a little baby. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, I love him. It's a nice... Nice chunky mix we got going on. Okay, I'm gonna set him just to the side and then I'm gonna use the other part. I better move this label over actually because I won't remember what he's called. Thank you Charmaine for labeling for me because y'all know me with Anthurium. Okay. Um. Okay, so I have this little pot I'm going to use for one of these small ones. Let's fill it up a little. Kind of got a lot of roots to fit in there. These were just like so well rooted. Which one is more rooted? Kind of hard to say. Uh, this one maybe. I don't even know what container I'm going to put the other one in. I'm not prepared. Okay, I'm gonna cover it up. My, <laughs> my plants, when I repot them, they always end up pressed against one side of the pot. And I've had people comment on this before. It's just the way that the like roots, I just can't seem to have them centered ever. It's so weird. Does this happen to anybody else? Or is it just me? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I can see his little roots along the side. I'll show you in a second. Man, I hope these are gonna be okay. Like, please be okay. I think he will. This pot's actually like the perfect size for this guy. But I don't really like how he's like so against the sides. See if I can fix him a little. There we go. There we go. That's better. That's better. I also think I have a tendency of potting things too deep. And y'all always call me out in my repotting videos. I don't know why I do that. I just put them so deep sometimes. Okay, I think that this is good. I don't think he's too deep. You can like see him sitting just like kind of hovering above the soil there and he's not pressed against the edge like he's definitely not centered but I think he'll be fine he looks so stinking cute oh my gosh 
Adorable, adorable, adorable. Okay, put him there with his brother. And then um, we have one more, we have one more. Okay, please hold, I need to find a container for this guy. <sighs> okay, so I found another one of these, but this one doesn't have a drainage hole, so I think I'm gonna try this one in pawn, just for funsies. Um, I always say that when I put plants in pond because I never know if they're gonna survive or not, but I think it'll be fine. My Anthurium vitrifolium is in pond and it's a loving life. So I'm just gonna fill this up. Maybe that's too much. Oh no, might be fine. Might be fine. Okay, I'm just gonna fill it up. Oh, messy. Okay. Maybe I'll do it over this. gone sphagnum to pond so I hope that this works well I usually go water to pond okay he's in there he is in there I will keep you guys posted if he starts deteriorating then I might remove him but I think he'll be okay I have a good feeling I am I am going to be doing a pawn update video soon where I'm gonna kind of talk about my experience so far because I've been doing pawn for almost a year. It'll be a year this spring or summer. Um, so I will be kind of talking about it more soon. That video might actually go up before this one, we'll see. But um, yeah, okay. So all my seedlings are potted up. I am a proud mother right now, you guys. Amazing. Okay, so next I think I'm gonna do the philodendron tortums. I'm very, very curious to see what the root situation is in this guy. So this is the larger one. I guess I'm just going to uh, unpot both of these and then, and then we'll combine. So, okay. I kind of want to be able to reuse this um, mix. So I'm just gonna <laughs> make some space here. Reduce, reuse, recycle, am I right? Okay, let's take them out. Oh boy, ooh, feels rooty in there, it's good. Oh, oh my goodness, okay. Still got some soil in there, that's good. Okay, we have some good roots, but not too many roots, which is awesome because there, that means there will be room for the other one to join. I'm gonna remove some of the bulk so that I can kind of arrange it how I want it in the pot. But this looks really good so far, you guys. I love philodendron tortum so much. Like, look at it. This looks so cool. Are you kidding me? I can't believe I grew this from this wet stick. That is craziness. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, so that's the root system on this guy. And you have seen the leaves. Okay, so I'm gonna just set that down. Oh my gosh, okay. He's hooked. Wait, no, he's not. Set him down there. <laughs> um, okay, so now we get to check out this one. So this one is actually in a self-watering pot and it's done really well in here. I, this blows my mind, you guys. I have no idea how plants don't rot in these self-watering pots. Like, I, how does that even work? It's wet at all times. Like, this soil is dense, heavy, like, soaking wet. How does it not rot? I don't understand. These pots are like sorcery, it's bizarre. Um, anyways, I'm gonna take it out of here, obviously, which kind of sucks because I liked, I really like these self-watering pots, 
but it'll just free it up for another plant. So that's fine. I really like to like condense, is that the word? Uh, I feel like there's a better word for it, but like combine, I guess combine, <laughs> combine my plants that are the same type. Um, I used to love having like several, but now I just like them all to be in like one pot. Okay, oh my goodness, this soil's so dense. I don't even know what to expect when I get this out. Oh, okay, it's just all coming out as one. Oh boy, oh boy. Can you see how wet this soil is? Craziness. I'm just gonna set that there. Okay, so the string, there's like roots tangled, uh-oh. Oh wow, the roots grown right through the string. Oh yeah, we lost it, that's okay, that's okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna knock some of this off. Okay, so root system is really good on this one as well. Looks awesome. Yeah, no idea how it's so healthy, but it is. I'm not gonna bother getting it any more clean than that because it's not really necessary. So I'm just going to arrange them both in here. I guess that one can kind of go like that. And then this one, this one has like a larger stick to accommodate in here. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, this is perfect. It's gonna look so good. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm so excited about this. This is gonna look so good. I'm so glad I'm combining these. Okay, this soil is good, so I'm just gonna flop her in there. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. This mix is actually more dense than, I don't know when I made this, not that long ago. I don't know why there's like no orchid bark in it, but whatever, it'll be fine, I think. Um, okay. Oh wow, this looks so, so good. I'm so glad I have two plants in here now. Still undecided about how I'm gonna stake this in the future. I might just do like a garden stake for support rather than a moss pole, I'm not sure yet. Oh, this just looks so good how full it is now. Oh man, beauty, absolute beauty. Okay, I wanna make sure they're not in there too deep because I know I do that, I do. Okay, hopefully that will be fine. Okay, this is what it looks like. <gasps> this looks so good, having them both in there. She's gonna be so lush. She's already looking lush. Oh, wow. I, oh, I love this plant even more now. I just, I love it. It looks so good. Okay, wow, gorgeous. Just gonna remove some of it. I don't think it needs to be that deep. I don't think it needs this much soil in here. There. I think that's a little bit better. Okay, amazing, amazing, amazing. And it's already moist, so I don't even need to water this one. Easy peasy. Move them on over. Okay, so now the last plant. Um, I'm so curious to see what's going on inside this pot, you guys, because like I said, I have had this ZZ Raven for two and a half years. It's one stalk, as you can see. It was a different stalk and then that one died off and this is a new stalk that had come out like last spring. Oh, it needs a dusting. Maybe that's part of the problem. Um, yeah, this new stalk came out last spring or last summer um, and I was so excited about it. I thought this plant was finally gonna like start growing, but it stopped there and I haven't gotten any other new growth. Um, 
I have no idea why, but yeah. Yeah, basically it hasn't grown for me and I'm just like really curious. I know that they're slow growers, but I mean, come on. Um, so I'm curious to see what's going on inside this pot. Whoop. Oh. Why does it look kind of, whoa. Oh my God. Is it dehydrated? <gasps> oh my God, it's rotted, you guys. <gasps> what? Is it rotted? What in the heck? How long has it been like this? What? This looks unwell. Like, look at how dry. What in the heck? This is like, I could pull this off. I'm spilling soil all over the house, but what the heck? Even this, look at how dry and dehydrated that looks. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to do. I do not see like a single healthy. Okay. I was following the advice to like never water your ZZ plants, but I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's wrong <laughs> because mine looks like it's ready to croak here. I do not even know what to do. This is giving me the vibe of something that I'm not even gonna say, <laughs> but it looks pretty nasty. Um, what do I do, you guys? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna ask my Discord chat really quick and see if anyone has advice because I literally don't know what to do. Okay, BRB. Okay, while I'm waiting for someone to respond, uh, I'm going to take the baby out of here and see what it's looking like. Hopefully it is not looking like that because what the heck, seriously? Okay. Oh, okay. We're good, we're good. This one has roots that look somewhat healthy. Thank goodness. It has a couple of roots that actually look pretty dry, but the two biggest ones look healthy. So I think it's fine. You can see those two long ones. They are like white and not shriveled. So that's good. Maybe I'll cut off these little shriveled ones. I don't know. Let's see if I can just break them off. Yep, I can. Mm. Okay. This one's kind of shriveled too. I just don't want it to rot. Okay, these are like on the brink of drying out, so definitely we'll be watering. Okay, let's see if someone is responding. <laughs> They're laughing at it. Look at the photo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, what am I going to do with this, you guys? Okay, so upon my research on Google, it seems that you can propagate them in water by stem cutting. So I think I'm just going to cut off the stem because I just, ugh, it just doesn't look great, you guys. The rhizome and those roots, I think we just need to try to save this stock, which I really hope I do save because this plant is kind of sentimental to me. I got it like when I first started, this was like such a find when I got this. I remember somebody bought one and then she split it up into like, I don't know, like 15 different plants. Um, and I was so excited to claim one of the stocks. Um, and then yeah, it just never really thrived for me. But obviously, I was not doing a good job of caring for it since it's completely shriveled up. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut. I'm gonna cut, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I wish someone else would respond, but I need to finish filming this video. Okay, um, I'm just gonna cut, you guys. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh, okay, I did it, I did it. Ooh. Okay, 
This is my cutting. I cannot believe I just propagated this. Or cut this off. It's not propagated yet, but apparently it's gonna grow a rhizome and roots out of there. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna have to put this in water, in a water vessel. Um, I'm just gonna set it to the side while I decide what I'm gonna do with this little baby. Um, maybe I'll just change out the soil, give it fresh soil. Um, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna rinse out this cup. While I was at the sink, I just found this cup of coffee that I completely, oh, it looks kind of weird now, I completely forgot about. It's cold now, it's, I've been filming for over an hour, <laughs> but I'm still gonna try to drink it. Um, okay, so hopefully the little baby will be happier in this fresh potting mix. I don't really have a better container for it right now. Where is it? Oh man, oh, here it is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it looks so funny just standing up there. All I want is a full Raven ZZ. I'm always so um, like tempted to get one when I see them in the plant shops, but they're still pretty expensive, honestly, for like a full plant, but that's what I want. I want like a really full one. Um, I love just like the regular greens easy too, but I don't have one anymore. I left it at Shane's and it's still there and it's doing well. But I have these Raven ones now. So, okay, this actually looks pretty good potted up in that new mix. Look at that. Now for the stock, I think I'm just going to let this callus over. Should I let it callus over? I don't even know. I'm assuming so because most things you let callus over a little bit or it's good to. I'll, I'll just let it callus over for maybe like half an hour and then I'm just gonna pop it in a cup of water. So I'll insert a clip right here um, when I do that. But other than that, I guess that is it. Everybody is all potted up. That was so fun. I loved potting these all up with you guys. Okay, let me put the camera up to say goodbye. Oh, that's really high. Is that good? I think that's good. Okay, that was a repot with me journey. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you so, so, so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and be sure to leave me a comment down below because I would love to chat with you. Also, don't forget to check out Babbel if you are interested in learning a new language. I will have that all linked down below in the description box, like I said. All right, thank you so much. I will keep you posted on how all of these plants are doing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Try